ladies and gentlemen, many churches are canceling their Christmas service. Well, the conditions are really impacting everything, isn't it? It sure is. So, an increased number of churches are canceling Christmas Day services in anticipation of low attendance. Given the holiday falls on a Sunday this year. And, y'all, if you remember... This same thing happened during the pandemic. They tried to have uh, Christmas services back then. Some of you may remember. And either churches canceled or they had an extremely low turnout. So only 84% of pastors planned on holding services this year, down from 89%. In 2016, which was the last time Christmas fell on a Sunday, according to surveys. So, Real Life Church in Macon, Georgia, tweeted that they would be hosting a Christmas Eve service, but not on Christmas morning. Mm mm mm. So there are a number of churches that our pastors are announcing that there will be no service and for families to enjoy their time at home. Mecklenburg Community Church in Iowa was going to host in-person services, but they decided to have their services online. Families have many traditions on Christmas morning. Boy, do I remember that. You know, uh, you know, back in the days when I was a child and my family was heavily into Christianity back then. And I remember Christmas service and going to church, New Year's Eve. I, I remember all of that. So... Most pastors acknowledge not as many of their members will be present compared to Christmas Eve and services earlier in the month. So the Catholic Church believes Sunday Mass to be non-negotiable, which includes Christmas Day, even if it does fall on a Sunday. In contrast, only 61% of non-denominational evangelical pastors said they would be leading service this year, according to LifeWay survey. In addition, 250 um, churches with 250 or more in attendance are more likely to hold Sunday services on Christmas Day than those that have fewer than 50 in attendance. First United Methodist Church, Winter Park in Florida, canceled services for the 25th, encouraging its congregation to spend time with loved ones and celebrate the birth of Christ at home instead, according to a tweet. Walnut Gardens Community of Christ in Independence in Ohio said they won't be hosting Christmas services on the 25th, but post to Twitter that uh, for those wishing to attend Christmas Day service, they recommended people go to another church, Mission Center, which is in Grand, uh, I'm sorry, Grandview Community of Christ, they'll be having services. So it's really just a bunch of churches announcing their closure for the 25th. This year, 85% of Protestant pastors plan to hold services on New Year's Day, which is the same as six days ago when the holiday fell on a Sunday, according to a report. All Saints Community Church in Oklahoma City will be closed on Christmas Day and New Year's Day 
Instead, they will host a Christmas Eve service and a worship night, January 1st. So, y'all, you know, the weather has put a damper on travel. It has put a damper on delivery service. And now it is really destroying Christmas Day services that folks would normally go to. And there, all these churches are announcing their um, closure or canceling the service altogether. So it's a lot of cancellations going on. Canceling church to celebrate Christmas that should not make sense to any believer. So that's just one of the pastors out in Alaska. Isn't it tragically ironic that some churches will be closed next Sunday because Christmas fall on that day? And, you know, and a lot is due to inclement weather as well. Um, because and there are some parts of the country that just got a lot of ice and snow and the temperatures are, you know, depending on where you live, some people are in the minus. Where I am, we went down to seven degrees last night and it's been a very cold day and it's going to be a very cold day tomorrow and on Monday as well. So in some places, they're saying, you know, worshipers are going to try to show up and find the doors locked. In an ironic twist of the tale, they'd find that there's no room for them in the church. I don't know. I don't know if churches are going to be so packed that people can't find room. But y'all going to have to tell me what you think. This is one more thing that is not working out this year for America, you know, along with so many other things. And it goes back to what I was saying to y'all, how it seems like every year when this season comes around, there is always major things that is getting on in the way of people doing their holidays. And I remember, you know, some of you may remember, there were big travel delays, even this past Thanksgiving. You know, it, it was not a smooth transition for people to travel to certain destinations. But you're gonna have to tell me what you think about all of these churches canceling Christmas service around the country and the list is growing by the hour. So right now they're saying um, they are saying about 60% of the churches that would normally hold service are not holding service. And it may, and that number may actually be a lot higher. Y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.